Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gebo the Shaman, and today we are talking about what happens when we have the sun placed in the third house in our birth chart. Okay, so before we get into all that good stuff, i just like to let guys know that I am a Vedic astrologer. I do Vedic astrology readings professionally, so if you're interested in any of those readings or anything else I have to offer up here, um, then you can check out GebbaTheShaman.com. Uh, everything is on sale right now, so go over there and check it out. Alright, so what does it mean when we have Mercury in the third house? So, um, well, we first we need to understand what Mercury means, and then we'll talk about what the third house means put them together and we have our own analysis. Uh, so what does Mercury mean? So Mer- or did I say Mercury? Sorry, I mean Sun. So what does Sun mean? So Sun is the uh, the ego, the soul. So uh, the collective soul. So it's like how you interact with others and it's like your ego and your, like how you express yourself to others is like your sun sign basically. So, or your, your sun placement. So, so the sun represents you, it re represents your, your soul. It represents your self-expression, rate of self-expression. It represents, um, you know, how you portray yourself to the world and things like that. It represents the government. It represents royalty. It represents um, position of positions of authority and things like that. And so. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what the sun is. It's, uh, anyway, um, so what happens, oh, yeah, so then we have the, uh, the third house. So, uh, the third house is the traditionally ruled by Mercury. It is the, you know, it's traditionally ruled by Gemini as well. Uh, Gemini being the third sign corresponding to the third house and uh, Mercury so um, so the third house corresponds with communication and the intellect and your courage uh, so it 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 really has a lot to do with the uh, communication the third house is also your younger siblings the third house is your um, your communication style, it's um, the it's where you get your courage, so um, your your discipline, your you know, bravery and things like that. And so, you know, third house has to do with those kinds of things. Mainly like um, communication and siblings it has to do with your your like if it's a physical body part it's the arms and the lungs um things like that so so yeah um so then we have so what does sun do when when it comes into the third house so the sun is the ego so we have the planet of the ego coming into the house of communication so this makes somebody very talkative and you know it the sun is a, a benefic planet generally but i mean um so this can make you a very friendly person a very talkative person very sociable very interactive, things like that, like, um, you know, someone at this placement just is very jovial and expressive and kind and friendly, 
things like that. So, you know, this this can be part of your personality, you know. You might love going out and meeting people and I mean this this position is great for doing sales and doing business and things like that because it's just like you're you're talking with people, you're you're lighting them up when you when you talk to them and that can bring in some good money. So you can do well in sales. Um so the other thing with this position, let me see how I am on time, just a second. <laughs> so with this position, I mean, you got to kind of watch your ego. So, <laughs> um, I mean, that that's true with like anywhere the sun is placed, but, um, you know, so you got to kind of be careful about your ego because the sun likes to um, puff its chest out and say, and, and you know, tell other people how great it is and how accomplished it is and how wonderful it is. You know, uh, look at me, I'm so great. Look at all my accomplishments and things like that. So your communication style will reflect your, your ego. If you have any kind of e ego imbalance, <laughs> people are going to know about it. And so, um, so yeah, sun in the third house is very, it can be very, very fun, very friendly, very creative, communicative, creative, uh, you know, having like that creative expression kind of thing. Uh, but. But the other thing to look out for is that it can be very egotistical in the communication. So you 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 gotta refrain from bragging. Look at me, you know. Look at all that I do. Look at I, all that I did and stuff like that. So so I mean, yeah. If that's all, you just gotta remember to keep that in balance. So one of the things that I don't talk about in these in these series is the the sign placement for uh for the sun. So um so you know you're going to want to look at my videos on uh where the sun is placed and thing and and the the sign placements of the sun. Um so because that could really impact you so anyway um so yeah so the sun here you know it, it, it depends on the the sign placement but and it also depends on the planetary aspects if you have positive aspects like if you have mercury aspecting this you'll be just very jovial very happy very kind you know caring friendly all that stuff and then, um, you know, negative aspects, you know, if you have Saturn here, that's going to, to like, turn your ego upside down, and it's, you know, it's going to be a very tough position, but anyway, so the, one of the things that also happens here, so you gotta look at the sign placement, and the, and the planetary aspects, but also, um, the in the third house the sun is aspecting the ninth house so this means that your communication can you know either bad or good but you got to watch how you speak to your gurus to your mentors to your teachers things like that you really got to get your ego out of the way when you are speaking to them because your ego can say, oh, I know everything, I don't need your help. And so, son in the third house can actually uh, backtalk their their teachers. And it can, um, you know, you, you just gotta really watch how you speak to your teachers and things like that, and gurus and mentors and all that stuff, because it can come back and bite you in the butt. Uh, your teachers can say, oh, you're Mr. Know-it-all, so 
I guess you don't need me to teach you anything, so you're done here. And that can be a great way to ru ruin a relationship with a, te with a teacher. So you gotta be careful of that. Alright, so... Um... Yeah, I think that's all I have for today, so... If you would, just uh, check out my website. I have it, everything that you see up here. All of this stuff is all, all on sale, so you can check that out. GebbeltheShaman.com And yeah, so I have the astrology certification course going on so I have a few students who are enrolled in that and I uh, have got to um, you know grade their tests and stuff like that so if you pass my test um, for the Vedic astrology certification course I will give you your own website and I will give you your own um, you know your your own place to uh, sell your services so I'll set that up for you and you don't have to worry about anything you just uh, go in there and you know you can share that with your clients you can actually advertise that website and you can do different things like that so yeah it's a great opportunity for you um, if you're interested in astrology that's a great way to do it because basically I walk you through step A through step Z of how how I um, how I go through uh, an astrology reading and how I how I do it and it's very simple you just follow the steps you don't need to be a astrology genius to figure this out you just follow the steps as I lay them out it's very simple so yeah that's a great way to um, learn about astrology learn uh, you know more about each individual client and uh, you know really um, do some awesome astrology work so then we have the Vedic astrology readings so I offer my standard reading as well as a career reading and a relationship reading so you can check those out um, they're both um, you know they're all very very helpful and can contain a lot of information that most astrologers don't even know so alrighty and then we have the birth time rectification so if you are new to astrology or maybe you don't have your exact birth time if you have an unknown birth time then it's great to have you know the birth time rectification because just a few simple questions and I'll I'll be able to figure out your exact birth time down to the minute and that's that's something that not all astrologers can do so that's a, a great opportunity for you to find that out uh, and then we have the distance energy healing so you can check out um, distance energy healing that that's really great for, you know, people who are sick or suffering in some way, uh, even like emotional distress. If your pet needs, you know, healing or something, you can give that, I, I can give that to them. Um, so yeah, it's a great um, opportunity for healing and, and uh, just to... Uh, you know, it's, it's just so powerful and so healing, so it's great. Um, and then we have the career coaching and the life coaching, so if you're one of those people who is struggling and struggling in life, not knowing what the hell you're supposed to do in life, not knowing what your purpose is or what your passions are, that's not a good thing. So instead of sitting on the couch eating Cheetos and watching soap operas all day, you can uh, book a career coaching session with me and I will walk you through the process of how I uh, get my clients to, uh, you know, figure out what their soul desire is and what their passion and purpose is in this life. And then we have the Qigong courses. So, you know, I have the Cosmic Qigong and the Self-Transformation Challenge. Self-Transformation Challenge really 
um, really is the thing that changed my life in a big way. Um, by doing the energy work, you can, you know, really get your body uh, flowing with the energy, which means that no, there'll, there'll be no room for stuck emotions. All your emotions will have to come out, and it's a very great way to purge yourself and to, um, you know, to release those emotions that are trapped and stuck inside of you. So, it's great. And it also gives you energy, greater health, and things like that. So, it's awesome. So, I guess that's about it, guys. So, thank you for watching. And remember, everything is on sale at getbothashaman.com. You can go below this video and subscribe and like and all that good stuff. It really helps the channel. And, um, yeah, so I will talk to you later. Peace.